Hey y'all, Retro here. I uh, just got a call that a uh, buddy of mine wrecked his bike a little bit. Uh, had a little spill, going around the turn a little too fast, so I'm hopping in the truck to go pick him up. What's up? So it's uh, Sunday. We did the interview with Joe on uh, Friday. Friday, and uh, now Joe has a wrecked motorcycle, and it I happens. But he's he's fine. He had, like he mentioned in the previous video, all the gear on all the time. We got a little little road rash where his jacket rode up, but uh, that's it. Uh, nothing nothing broken. We, we think, and uh, just a little little damage here and there too. The motorcycle. I'm gonna really get the... so a little little bump along the tank where the handlebar smacked it. Pop some bolts out of the uh, the peg that he fell on and uh, busted some stuff up back here. That's gonna be fun. So uh, so Joe, tell me tell me what happened, man. Uh, going around the corner. Leaned pretty far, was grinding peg. Just a little bit of, there's a little hole in the road. Yeah. Peg snapped, that, snagged on that, and I just went down and slid for a while. Good. But uh, got two good buddies with me, and I think that gave me a little bit too much confidence going around that corner. I hear you. About, <laughs> yeah, about how fast do you think we were going? Uh, this is the curve, by the way. Crazy. Yeah, it wasn't crazy. It wasn't like crazy. that can't go too crazy around the turn. You said you had a like a divot in the road that caught your peg. Yeah, there's yeah. a yeah a little hole in the road caught my peg and I just went down. That's all it takes sometimes, man. Yeah. So you glad you had all the gear on? Very glad. Uh, you see the hands? Hands just a little bit right there yeah, where from the, where my glove ripped, but the, yeah. that's about it. That's it, man. I'm glad you're all right. Glad the uh, the bike is not beyond repair, and uh, we'll get it figured out. But uh, yeah, man. <laughs> all right, so we got the bike loaded up, and uh, we're gonna go drop it off at Joe's house. Um, so, so you were right behind him whenever he uh, he went down. Yeah. 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 He just. What did you see? I mean, he was leaning pretty far. Yeah. In fact, I was thinking, like, wow, that is a far lean. And then all of a sudden, his peg caught. And, yeah, I can't remember if his bike actually flipped or if it just fell over and he was rolling. And they both kind of just skidded over to the side that's of the road. Not a, uh, that's not a sight you want to see in the rear view, huh? Yeah. Luckily, there were no cars behind him or anything. Oh, that's good. And I was far enough behind to where I could just pull over and run over to him and see if he was yeah. okay. Good stuff. Is there anything else y'all would have done differently in this situation? Not a lean so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm glad yeah. we we're wearing all our gear, and sure. I think you know, riding in a group is probably safer than just riding by yourself because if something like that happened and there's nobody around, yeah, then, yeah, it could be harder to get help. But, yeah, I think uh, I think people are are pretty quick to stop if you know, especially. I mean, it seems like there's always like somebody driving by that's an EMT or a nurse or something that you know will just come lend your hand on the side of the road but yeah man it's it's never fun but uh what do you think man you still uh you still gonna keep riding after that oh yeah definitely. yeah like, okay honestly the fall was a lot of fun what's not fun is the realization of what happened <laughs> <laughs> after, bet, man. <laughs> after him and his bike skidded to a stop <laughs> he's just laying on the ground gave me two thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> good deal he's all right he's okay good deal uh, man all right we're gonna get get rolling well, folks, never a dull moment in the motorcycle club community. Always some excitement, excitement going on. But um, yeah, man, it's always a uh, always a pleasure to. It's nice to have a truck to be able to help people out. This thing has definitely been a blessing. So, um, but man, glad that uh, that Joe had all his gear on. That uh, his injuries weren't any worse, and he's gonna be fine. The bike's gonna be fine. Sounds like he's uh, already got a plan to start fixing it up again and get it back on the road. It is beautiful out here, and I think that uh, my helmet, my uh, helmet, <laughs> my hammock is calling my name. So I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful afternoon. We'll see you guys in the next one. Ride fast, pray hard. See you next time.